Hi everybody, so today for story time I thought I would read How to Catch the Easter Bunny by Adam Wallace and Andy Eckerton. Um, it's, they're the same ones that wrote How to Catch a Leprechaun that I read last week for St. Patrick's Day. I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs and now I'm here to bring them all to you. My real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B. My special job means I must hide my true identity. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny and I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you must, you just must, might see me roam. This first trap is quite simple. Just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast. To catch me, you'll need some better bait. Sounds like you went to the same house as one of the one the leprechaun went to. A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me strife. Have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing is my life. Now this is much more like it. A fully lit lit dance floor. I'll do a little hip hop, then dash behind the door. That looks like fun. This next trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers, but it's hard to catch a bunny who had supersonic ears. I think they thought maybe making a pretend female bunny would get him. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket too? But I've been hiding Easter treats since 1682. Uh. This trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge a flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. Wow, that's a pretty elaborate trap. I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong, you see me right away. I leave so many Easter treats, no children will be sad. But when they see that I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. Well, I think he, he exchanged the gnome for him instead. The Bunny Tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin, but I've got lucky rabbit's feet. I know, I'll always win. It's a flying Easter Bunny. With all the treats delivered to children big and small, I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kid of all. See you next year. Oh, that's cute. Well, there was our fun story for this week, and we will see you guys next week. Bye.